we're going to remind ourselves about a few facts about angles and straight lines. Have a look at this little video. Concentrate on the red and blue angles and how they relate. You can see that as the red angle gets bigger, the blue angle gets smaller and vice versa. But if you actually look at what those two angles add up to, you'll see that they always add up to 180. So, for example, in this picture here, we can see 140 and 40. That gives us 180. But no matter where we stop the video, so let's stop it here, for example, you'll see we then have 80 and 100, which adds up again to 180. So this is a fact that we have for angles on a straight line. So what we say is adjacent angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Let's just go through some of those words. What does adjacent mean? Well, if you talk about in everyday English two things being adjacent, it's just two things being next to each other. And that's the same idea with angles, that they're the angles that are next to each other. So we talk about these two angles here as being adjacent angles because they're next to each other. They share a common vertex, a common point where the lines that make the angles meet and they are next to each other they share a common arm as well so adjacent angles are angles that are next to each other sharing a common vertex and arm all right on a straight line okay so it's very important right it's only when you actually have a straight line that the adjacent angles add up to 180 degrees and then this last little thing here, this R supplementary, is just a word you might sometimes hear, and that's just a fancy way for saying add up to 180. So if, you, if someone says the angles are supplementary, they're just saying in a fancy way they add up to 180. Okay, and then this gives us all sorts of things we can then do. Um, so, you, for example, if you take this picture down the bottom and I tell you here that this angle here is 60 degrees and I ask you to work out what this angle here is, you can tell me, well, X will have to be, because the two of these, these two things add up to 180, X is going to have to be 180 minus 60, which is 100 and. 20. Okay, and one could in fact get a little more complicated than this. So you could in fact have, say for example, an extra, oh, that's a very wonky, but it's meant to be a straight line here. And then you could say, all right, if this one is 60 and this one here is 50, and again, in this case, we could ask what X is. Well, in this case, we know 50 plus 60 plus X altogether will add up to 180. And so X is going to be 180 minus the 50 plus the 60. So it's 180 minus 110, so x will be 70. And we can go on like that. So that's our first fact that we need to always have in mind. Adjacent angles on a straight line add up to 180. Let's go on to the next fact now. Okay, so again in this case what I want you to do is just start by observing the little video. Pay particular attention to the blue and pink and how they relate, and the red and orange and how they relate to each other. Hopefully what you are observing is that these two remain the same as each other and these two remain the same as each other. If you look again carefully now, you can see that basically the way this arm moves here, this arm moves, is as it moves, it makes this smaller and simultaneously makes that smaller. You can kind of see how they relate to each other. So this and this remain the same size and this and this remain the same size. And we call these kind of angles vertically opposite angles. So the statement we can make are that vertically opposite angles are equal. So here are your adjacent angles adding up to 180. Here 
of vertically opposite angles that are equal. Here is another pair of vertically opposite angles that are equal. And here are adjacent angles on a straight line adding up to 180. And look here, another pair of adjacent angles on a straight line adding up to 180. So this gives us endless possibilities for being able to work out examples. So if I start off by telling you that this angle here is say equal to 40 degrees, I can then go ahead and work out all the other angles. I can say that this angle is 40 because it's vertically opposite and vertically opposite angles are equal. I can then go ahead and say that this angle over here, well, it's adjacent to the 40 on a straight line, so it's going to be 140 because it must add up to 180. And then this little angle over here, well, I can do it in two ways. I can say it's vertically opposite that 140, so it's equal. Or if I wanted to, I could have done it as adjacent to the 40, so adding up to 180, or adjacent to that 40, adding up to 180. Whichever way, 140, 140, 40, 40. So we can work out angles using this idea of vertically opposite. Okay, I want you to try one now for yourselves. Um, this is in your key concepts book, open it. Um, and what you need to tell me is from this drawing, which angles are equal, which angles add up to 180, and which angles add up to 360. Pause the video and try now. Okay, so let's have a look at which angles are equal angles. Here we're looking for vertically opposite. So what we've got, for example, is if we have a look here at angle A, it's going to be vertically opposite to angle D. So these are vertically opposite, equal. Angle B is vertically opposite angle E, and so they're equal, and angle C is vertically opposite angle F. And if you actually got a bit clever, you'd also notice that if you added together angle A plus F, right, you could say that that, we're just ignoring that line now, pretending it's not there, angle A plus F is vertically opposite angle D plus C. Similarly, angle A plus B, we're just going to ignore this line, so we ignore that line and we see it's vertically opposite E plus D. And B plus C, we ignore this line, so we can ignore that line and say it's opposite E plus F. We carry on going round and we look at C plus D and we see it's vertically opposite A plus F, but actually that's just the same as this one we started with, so we don't need that. Um, and we could, in fact, uh, but let's leave it at that. I think we can go into having three angles, etc., but let's leave it at that. So there are some equal angles we've got. And uh, what about the angles that add up to 180? Well, adding up to 180, we're looking at straight lines. So if we take, for example, this straight line here, we're talking about A plus F plus E. If we have a look at, and then we also got on the other side of it, D plus C plus B. So both of those add up to 180. If we then go ahead and look at this line here, this one will give us B plus A plus F is equal to 180, as well as E plus D plus C. And if we look at our last straight line, it's A plus B plus C and D plus E plus F, which gives us 180. And our final question, what adds up to 360? Well, remember, 360 is when you go a full revolution, right? A full way around a circle. And so obviously what that is, is when you've got all of them added together. A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F equals 360.